So now we want to position the roses. I always make sure that I can cover up this detail right here. So I compress this area, and you always want to make sure the rose sits towards the top facing up and never out in this particular area right there. So the first thing I do is I take my tendrils, and I just lay them on like so. Another one, offsetting that a little bit. Press it down. I should take four leaves. And in the center here, I place the rose. Now, if you work diligently and quickly, you will not have to use any water. But if for some reason a crust forms on here, don't hesitate to just lightly miss the project. I'll put another one up here. five minutes to an hour in the proof box. It's nice and relaxed, the piece. You want to take the wine bottle and just compress it back in here, which will give you a nice little foot or pedestal to rest it on. You want to make sure that all your roses are looking up at you. This one is pointing out a little bit, so I'm just going to take my finger and reposition it a little bit. Otherwise, during the baking process, it could fall off the bread. I take a real fine meshed sieve and I gently brush the entire bread lightly, multiple applications. So after you've dusted and given a nice even coating, I usually use an X-Acto cutter and just cut the veins into the leaves. That will allow the incision just to expand slightly and give it a little bit of depth. And I do find it's important to give it a nice dusting. I don't think that the contrast for the bread looks good if you don't apply a little bit of that white mass. Next thing I do is on the leaves for the roses, I make a straight cut down the center and then two vertical lines along that center axis so that it looks like it's got some texture to the leaf. Then with my scissors, I'm gonna make a cut on that tendril, which gives me a nice little thorn shape. And wherever I feel like cutting one, I put one in. I want to make three incisions. One incision is gonna go the entire length of that wheat berry on the outer perimeter. I'm gonna go opposite of where that incision was made at the same angle. And then we're going to go down the center as well. And I repeat that on all of them. After you've made all your decorative incisions, you put it into an oven about 450 to 480 degrees Fahrenheit. And I bake it with some steam. And then the trick is just bake it to as dark as you can possibly stand it. I don't mind to almost burn certain areas because it really starts to play with the high and low lights of this three-dimensional piece. <laughs> 